All right, we've made it to the 14th week of 2018 and a new edition of Feedback Friday. First up to bat, a celebration of baseball. We kicked off the week with a parade. And some of you shared your thoughts on having the opening day parade not on opening day. I do not like opening day, you know, on different days. I don't see a thing wrong in having the parade today. Even later in the week would have still been fine. Everybody still enjoyed the parade. The baseball game went on and all's fine with the world. The parade was just awesome. I was not able to come to it, but I watched it on TV and the coverage on Channel 9 was excellent. This viewer emailed saying, it's unfortunate that the Findlay opening day parade was rescheduled. I would prefer the city take it over so a profit organization can't change the date out of concern for profits. Opening day has a positive and negative impact on businesses. Coverage of the opioid epidemic this week brought up the question, should it be treated like a mental illness? And the hotline lit up. I say no. Drug addiction starts as a choice. You choose to use drugs, you end up on drugs. That was your choice. Nobody called it a mental health problem or epidemic with crack cocaine. Ron from Cincinnati, they know what they're doing to their body. They know it's bad for them. They know it's addictive. They know they're going for the second high every time they try it again. I don't think it's an illness at all. I do not think it should be treated as mental health. Addicts had a, a choice. People with mental illness don't. A viral video this week compiled by Deadspin showcased a compilation of news anchors at Sinclair Broadcast Group-owned stations reading a mandated and scripted editorial on news coverage, and it sent many over the top. Tweets on social media slammed the integrity of the anchors involved. WCPO, which is owned by the EW Scripps Company, even received a few emails when viewers were confused. My husband and I will no longer watch your network for the news. Sinclair showed poor judgment, forcing their news people to make what appeared to be some sort of declaration against other news organizations. It also sounded like you have been unable to report the news accurately. It was a dumb move. Thanks for the email, but just to be clear, we are owned by EW Scripps, not Sinclair. In fact, our news director, Chip Mahaney, posted an article on WCPO.com specifically talking about the independent process that happens in our newsroom that is completely separate from company ownership. As a result, Catherine emailed us saying, Thank you, WCPO. You've gained a viewer. Suzanne Franco emailed saying, I am very happy to see that WCPO is not part of Sinclair Network of local TV stations in our country. She goes on to say, Thank you, WCPO, for resisting this practice. And thanks again for another great week of calls. If you have an opinion about any stories you see throughout the week on 9 on your side, be sure to call the Feedback Friday hotline, the number on your screen, 513-852-4998.